Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rifgal. I'm gonna continue playing Kirby's Adventure for NES today. Uh, this is level 5, Yogurt Yard. door down there. I'm guessing that to get to that we need to go under here. There we go. That was underwhelming. <laughs> so yeah, if you're just joining, uh, this is uh, the Kirby game for NES. Um, have gone way better. This level's kind of, or this particular stage is kind of weird because I was expecting it to be more of like a city themed thing. And it looks like it's just a continuation of the cloud theme. But yeah, uh, this is the Kirby game for NES. It's pretty much just a Kirby game. It's pretty much what you'd expect. Uh, it was the first Kirby game to involve observing powers, um, late NES title. Oh, we missed something there, there was a secret somewhere further in the level, apparently. Let's go back in and try again, apparently. Maybe we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll do better this time. Obviously the best solution is to just grab the parasol again because it worked so well last time. So I'm gonna skip that this time. And just see if going past it here gets me something. No? take our time, because we can. Until we can't. <laughs> oh, that was really bad. I don't even care. Hey, I get why there's rock in that other room now. Guessing this. There we go. So that should turn the door white now. Uh, there, a lot of these uh, have that kind of Mario World feel where there's multiple exits to them. Let's see if I can do better on this this time. Come on. Hey, I got the one up. That makes up for the life I lost in there, too. <laughs> Coming out of there with sword, full health, and the same number of lives I had going in. Much better. Okay. Looks like a cave level. Sword is a good thing to have for this. Use, uh, sword's one of the few powers you can use underwater. Sword and I believe hammer and umbrella. I'm not sure what just happened there.
Now I want to know. Okay, so apparently if you have the sword... ...and you hold down in B, it does the slide, like if you do down in A. Now I know. Sword against Hammer is not really a good matchup for us. We'd much rather have a ranged attack against him. Only one health left. Probably could use a new power soon. I'm barely convinced that I missed something in that level, but we'll find out when I see the door. As long as I get the white door, I don't care. There we go. High jump is one of the... or is a really neat power that was pretty much just used in this game. There's a kind of version of it with Jet and Superstar, but it's not the same. And I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorites. Okay, I was apparently supposed to have wheel for this part anyway. <laughs> Touching by the terrain. Holy lag. Still probably should have had wheel. Oh my. Okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be one of those where the... Lord disappears out from under you, <laughs> and you almost die. Okay, that's even better that one side does and one side doesn't. Okay, so the lesson I'm learning from this particular level is that it's going to continue giving me powers, and I should grab them whenever I enter a new room. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that part would have been way easier with Umbrella. Just like the wheel part would have been easier with wheel and... Yeah. Oh 
Okay, let's see what the museum has to offer. Stone and tornado. Tornado is neat, but it's not useful. Let's try stone. See if it ends up being useful this time. It also tends to not be useful, but that's okay. Ha! <laughs> nope. See if we take the same lesson away uh, that we did during the last stage. Hey, we can actually fall through these platforms. Most of this game, we haven't been able to do that. So the ones that walk that way uh, throw their axes. Not that it apparently mattered. Apparently, this actually has a section that makes Ball not terrible. Whew! That was really close. Is that a door? That's a door. They do a really good job of hiding the doors in this. Ball also has the advantage of it works like a mobile rock, but only when you're falling straight down. I apparently picked the wrong one? We'll find out. <laughs> hey, I'm getting better at that too. I did not realize you could only get one copy of a 1-up per run. Or per... I guess it wouldn't be per run. Per... Well, maybe per run works. Okay, we get to do the ball part over again, which is actually kind of exciting to me because this is a power that like never gets used, but I've always wanted to be good. <laughs> again, this is one that never got or never showed up in another Kirby game that I'm aware of. Oh, now we get to just be boring. I'm gonna see if there's anything past here first. Hmm. So I'm guessing that this is... I'm guessing it's gonna be this other door that I didn't do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then it goes back here. And 
then I wish I had ball or stone or something. And we'll see if I can get another one up. Nope. Not even a little. go with... I'm gonna try Tornado against this boss run. Or boss room. This is probably gonna be terrible. Never mind. That was actually really sick. Okay, we're gonna keep Tornado for a little bit and see how it works. downside with these now that the switch rooms are there as I just realized what I'm supposed to do there okay <sighs> that's hard so you have to start with Knowing my luck, this is going to be the... Knowing my luck, this is going to be the, uh... So close. Uh, knowing my luck, this is going to be the switch. So I am actually going to have to do it. Can't know that for sure. It's actually kind of tricky. I stopped and killed the fire guy. Shouldn't have done that. How many way different ways can this get done? I feel like I'm doing it right, I'm just not sure... I feel like I'm missing something here. <sighs> there we go. And it was the switch, so I feel better. <laughs> that was actually a requirement to get the 100%. Okay. And hey, I got high jump out of it. Which I'm okay with. I like high jump. I wasn't actually trying to do that, but I'm also not opposed to it. I just saw the tomato after I landed. There was a little tomato, like, hiding under the door. <laughs> I 
That guy wasn't messing around. <laughs> Speaking of not messing around... Fireball. It's the boss monster for Fireball, which they never reuse the power, so they never reuse the guy, which is kind of too bad because it's kind of neat. What? Huh! Okay. That was kind of weird. I'll also say we're also getting to the point where I could, where I really should be trying to occasionally uh, get two enemies at the same time. If you absorb two enemies uh, at the exact same time, like in one suction that have powers, uh, you get a random power instead, which can include a UFO, which is neat. This is real. <laughs> this is kind of like a, just in case you weren't wheeling, or feeling wheel enough, here's some wheel for your wheel level. Looks atrocious if you were not using wheel. Apparently, this is just like the wheel level with random obstacles. I don't remember what you need to get past those. Are you serious? Okay. I think I know. Actually, I bet I know, I should say. Whoops. <laughs> uh, okay. So that must either be sword or rock you need to get past it, but I don't think rock works underwater. Let's see if sword works. If it's not sword, that means it's something like hammer. Yeah, you can't get down there. So it's whatever breaks these green blocks, which is apparently not sword. What else is in that? Usually they give you the key in the level, so it must be the rock. Uh, I'm gonna go back through it again because it's probably easier than trying to backtrack in a wheel-based level. <laughs> So we're gonna do this, but instead of ending... We're gonna do that. And 
and see if you can use stone underwater. <laughs> kind of annoying. That means you have to bring a power in from outside the level to actually get the switch. I'm trying to remember if there was a hammer in the previous level. Oh well. Hey, this doesn't have to be a 100% run. <laughs> and unless something changes, it won't be. This is a really weird boss, but it's kind of neat. I like the way the terrain changes as you go. It's also not a super hard boss, unfortunately. Whoa! As I say that, it gets super, super close to you. I knew as soon as I said it that I'd made a mistake. <laughs> so this seems like it'd be really... I, I should have... Like, if I had, like, laser or something, this would probably not be terrible, terrible. It also looks like it must have like either different patterns or a random element, uh, because this isn't the same as last time, and last time was way easier. Until the end, at least. If it is actually at least quasi-random, that's really cool. Uh, especially for this era of NES. Or this era of games in general, rather. Like, NES games, if we're with uh, significant random components, are not common. Okay. So that's stage 5! Or level 5, or whatever they call it in this. World 5. Level. Okay, uh, we'll pick up next time with level 6 Orange Ocean. Uh, hopefully you are enjoying the, these videos. If you are, give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. Uh, if you like this, go back and check out my Kirby Superstar videos, especially. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.